talking about the Kremlin 10C18 pump and how to properly assemble and disassemble the air motor and the fluid section of the pump. First, we are going to take apart the bottom fluid section of the pump. We begin by taking off the cylinder and suction valve assembly with an adjustable wrench. After those two components are disconnected from the pump, we will take the suction valve assembly apart from the cylinder. We will take the suction valve assembly apart further later in the video. Using an adjustable wrench, we will then take apart the exhaust valve assembly. Since the rod is firmly held in place, you will be able to use one wrench for this step. This part is lock tighted, so the piston may take a few tries to get the assembly unscrewed. Then using a 10 millimeter socket wrench, you will be able to take three nuts off of the bottom in order to disconnect the outlet flange from the air motor. Using a 5mm Allen wrench, you will loosen the protection housing and slowly pull the outlet flange off the pump, followed by the protection housing. Then using an adjustable wrench, you will take the three tie rods that are connecting the air motor to the fluid section of the pump. Once the three rods are off, you will take out the pin which holds the axis in place and then you will be able to remove the fluid piston rod. Using a needle nose pliers, you will pull the lower ball cage out of the suction valve assembly which will allow you to get to the lower ball. Next, we will remove the cartridge from the outlet flange. Using a flathead screwdriver, we remove the retaining ring that is holding the cartridge. Once the retaining ring has been removed, use a hammer and a socket and lightly tap the cartridge from the outlet flange. If the material has gotten into your wet cup, you will first have to remove this before removing the cartridge. Lastly, we will remove the exhaust valve assembly by first putting the assembly into the clamp. We want to be careful not to tighten this assembly too much or we will run the risk of ruining the seat at the bottom of the assembly. Then we will use an adjustable wrench to take off the valve holder from the seat. Once you take off the valve holder, we can remove the U-seal which will allow you to get to the upper ball. we will assemble the fluid section of the pump. Before we start assembling the section, you will want to thoroughly clean all the metal parts of the pump to remove any material or debris. First, we will start by putting the fluid piston rod back into the air motor, when putting the axis back into the rod and attach the pin to hold it in place. Next, we will reattach all three tie rods that connect the base of the fluid section to the air motor. Then 
using Magna Loop, which is a Teflon grease, we will grease up all the components of the pump, starting with the piston and three rods we just attached back in. We will want to make sure that every seal that we put back into the pump is coated with a thin layer of Magna Loop. Then we will put the protection housing back in carefully. Before we put the outlet flange back on, we will grease up the seal on the cartridge and using two fingers, you will be able to push the cartridge back down into the flange. Once that is complete, you then put the retaining ring back on using a flathead screwdriver. Making sure that it is properly lined up, you will then put the piston through the cartridge. Using a 10 millimeter socket wrench, you will then put the nuts back on the three tie rods to hold everything together. the exhaust valve assembly back onto the piston. Before attaching this assembly to the piston, you will want to apply a small amount of Loctite 577 to the piston to ensure that the assembly does not come loose from the piston when the pump is in production. Using an adjustable wrench, we will then tighten it down to the piston. We will then be able to put our U-cup seal on next. Once the seal is on the valve holder, the lower ball and seat will be screwed into this part. installation of the exhaust valve assembly. We will grease the two seals on the cylinder and then we will be able to screw the cylinder back into the outlet flange of the pump and then tighten it with an adjustable wrench. Once the cylinder is tightened down, we will put the lower ball assembly together by first putting the ball in the pump foot, which in turn is followed by the ball cage. Lastly, we will need to screw the suction valve assembly back into the cylinder. disassemble the air motor part of the 10C18. We begin by using a 10 millimeter socket wrench to remove the three nuts that hold the cover to the lower support of the air motor. take off the cover of the pump. As you can see, after the cover is removed, the cover reversing body will come off easily because it is not held down by the cover anymore. After the cover reversing body is removed, place a vice grips on the top of the control rod assembly and using an adjustable wrench, slowly remove the valve from the top of the air motor. 
you want to be careful not to torque too much on the valve or it could damage the rod assembly. Once the valve is removed, you will be able to remove the re reversing body from the air cylinder. After these two parts are taken out of the air motor, we will be able to remove the upper and lower piston from the lower support. All that is left to do is use a flathead screwdriver to remove the U-seal at the bottom inside the lower support. we will now assemble the air motor. We will want to make sure to clean the metal parts of material buildup. We will begin by putting the U-seal back into the lower support with the lips facing up. It is key to have these lips facing up to ensure a tight seal around the lower air piston. Then we will grease the lower air piston and put it through the U-seal. Following the install of the lower air piston, we will place the seal onto the upper air piston. Next comes the air cylinder. We will lubricate the inside of the cylinder and then place it on top of the air piston and control rod assembly. Then we will grease the top seal and place that on the reversing body. Once that is complete, we can place that back on top of the air cylinder. Then we will put the valve back on the control rod assembly using our adjustable wrench and vice grip. We will want to make sure that we put a dab of Loctite on the control rod assembly to make sure that the valve does not come loose during production. Then we will grease both sides of the seals and position them on the cover reverse body. Once that is complete, you will simply be able to put the cover of the air motor back on top of the pump, followed by the nuts to hold it in place using a 10 millimeter socket wrench. Once the nuts are tightened down, the air motor assembly will be complete.